Hello my Sock Universe and welcome to another Jersey review. I know in the polls that I pulled out Liga never scored high. That's the reason why I want to go for Liga uh, now before we go into La Liga and potentially other reviews. For the simple reason I always think that Liga 1 is very underrated and some of the nicest shirts this season come from Liga 1 in my opinion. So we will see that. Liga 1 again kind of a mixed league in terms of suppliers. We have uh, three jerseys by others, three by Puma. That sounds a little bit more no normal to what we had recently. But then, you know, we go Kappa Ambro, Nike, of course, has only two teams. Uh, Ulsport, Homer, New Balance, Macron, Lecoq Sportif and Kraft. So two that we, uh, at the end, that we are uh, not sure if we have seen so far and if we have, uh, we have not seen very, very often. Um, all the jerseys will be rated, of course, again, from 1 being the worst to 10 being the best. And I also put them in order. So we'll start with the worst shirt. We go to the best shirt, according to my opinion. Uh, I went through this a few times. Um, I took also the grades from previous uh, Champions League and Europa League previous, but I actually felt I have to adjust them. Actually grade a few jerseys down because it doesn't quite fit at least for my liking. Uh, for the grades, I also have to say that uh, there's one thing in League 1 that we have to consider, and this isn't why, that's why I'm wearing Stade Reims. All these sponsors that he, are here up on the sleeves, of course, they don't make the jerseys look prettier. However, if they're like here, mostly tone in tone with the rest of the jersey, I have decided to not put the grade uh, lower by that much. I will, however, go wacko on the grade or give a low grade uh, if there are way too many sponsors on there and if they add way too many colors. That, I think, is for me kind of dividing line. So you will see some jerseys that have tons of sponsors that are relatively highly rated because I think the overall design and the look is still all right. So, and I would say we'll get started. And the lowest ranked jersey I have is a two-star jersey which is the Montpellier third jersey. It's almost every year that Montpellier puts out something crazy. Uh, you know, a Nike template with some weird colors. This one definitely fits in there. I know it's on the coast and maybe there's the sea, blah, blah, blah in there. Just doesn't do it for me. Three star jerseys. I really hate this OM uh, third jersey. Uh, orange and black and this flamey thing. It is just an ab abomination to me. The Lil Fourth, I've been going back and forth. I mean, this is based on a statue that uh, should represent virtues in the city square. I think that's cool, but uh, overall, I mean, if you're just a set in the size of print, don't go so wild with, with the colors. No. Those were the badgers. We're going to four stars already. And yes, the PSG third, I don't like it. I really don't. I know it's Jordan brand. And the pattern now I know is based on Jordan sneakers. Just does, 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 doesn't do it for me. Uh, yeah. The Brest Home. Uh, this one I've been going a big way back and forth, but basically it's just box standard uh, Adidas template with tons of sponsors. I'm mostly bugged by the big Kegine Materio sponsor here, although this has improved a lot since I'm doing these League Earn reviews. The other third. <sighs> Yeah, like well, I don't like all this color combination and and and, and the squares. I mean, over I think it's not such a bad shirt, but uh, I, the colors don't do it for me, if I'm honest. Uh, yeah, more uh, away. This was one where I was going back and forth. I like that they're putting some patterning here on the sleeves and on the sides, um, but uh, overall, doesn't look. It doesn't look great. Let's put it this way. Uh, Montpellier, uh, Pink October. I mean, for what it is, I actually think this one is decent. Yes, it's not quite uh, Montpellier colors, which are, of course, uh, navy and orange. But I like that they have like this little band in there. The sponsor is yeah a little bit uh, obstructing it, but I think this is overall quite nice. I think for all of what it do is, it does as well, but it's not a great shirt overall. Strasbourg away, yes way too many colors way too many colors i mean if all the sponsors were in the accent color of the uh dark blue i think this would rate much 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 higher i'm also not so sure about the temple here i think this goes better if this is tone in tone you know uh, blue and uh, a light lighter blue uh then white and then blue on there PSG fourth. The color of this one is hemp. It's very much, uh, very close to the third jersey. I like it better because 
It's a little bit bright though, but hemp, yeah, that's what they have been smoking. I don't like the color com com combination. Uh, I think if it was just the uh, hemp and this dark green, but then they add a blue in there, uh, it just... And I'm sure there are people that go out and buy this shirt like crazy. Not for me though. The Monaco Away, hey, I've been going back and forth. Monaco had actually two sponsors. We have the APM and we have the original The Visit Monaco sponsor. I know black and gold, it's cool and there's something Monaco about it. It's just I find the jersey so bland and I don't find it great. Five stars. Lorient Away, I really like the color combination. However, the pattern, I mean, this is supposed to be Umbro diamonds that are going in and out. It's a little bit too random, especially the two shards that come in from the from the side but other than that i think it's not a bad one overall montpellier away uh i am so mad about this one uh the template with the striping is actually really cool but then you have the box for the sponsor and the sponsor doesn't fit ugly absolutely uh, ugly uh the clermont third this one is inspired by the volcanic rock around it okay okay it's I think it's a third jersey. It does work, but uh, it's nothing that I'm really um, crazy about. The Nice third to me is almost too too simple. I mean, yes, it is blue and it is golden and these are colors that Nice have been using for their third jerseys. Uh, it's just too simple in a way. Uh, for Lille, I actually do like it over with the V shape that's all over. That's an interesting pattern. What draws me off is the asymmetric collar and I know this connects and over to the one sleeve but it just looks a little bit odd. Strasbourg third. Um, there's something there. I like the crest. I just wish, I mean it's not too dissimilar in tone and color from the home jersey that we'll see in a little bit. But other than that you see the sponsors are all in white and egg actually makes it look cool. Uh, I just ask myself why do we need it? But there's some and there's something nice right there. Lorient has a centenary jersey. I think the color for a centenary jersey is something completely new. It is kind of this wooden feel to it. Oh I just God. wonder, I mean, for orange and white, you go with this beigey, browny, wooden tone, and then very weird. That's Montpellier home. Again, I love the colors. And I think if they would have a better sponsor, this one would go much, much, much higher. But this way, I'm sorry, you cannot misplace the sponsor that much. The casino sport should go in. Just. Uh, Strasbourg home. I know there will be a whole lot more sponsors on, on there. It's a classic Strasbourg home jersey as of late. What I don't get is why do we have these little black accents, you know, on the sleeve cuffs and then uh, on the side and on, on the bottom. That's maybe the one thing that I don't like that much. It's an average shirt um, where I think I would have liked maybe a light blue instead of a black accent color. Again, or maybe, you know, there's a red in the crest too. Maybe you could have used that one. The last home is also one that I've been going back and forth. Um, I think I like the idea. I also like that the sponsor kind of, it, it all keeps it in the, in the club's colors. That is really cool with that one. That's just still, it could be better. Let's put it that way, it could be better. Breast away, yes, this is gonna... <laughs> I actually do like it, and it's just because the sponsor is a castle. And every year I'm saying this. And I also find that the Breast Crest um, is in red, on white, it stands out way more than on the home jersey. But the main thing that I like is that the, I think the sponsor is a whole lot better on this. Also, it's so humongous and so out there, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Uh, the Lorient third. Um, I do like the pincer. I even like that there's the pattern, you know, these are the ermelins uh, from the Breton flag here in orange on there. And I just find it weird that the collar then extends down in, 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 into these pinstripes. That I find a little, little bit weird when they're, they're so white. But yeah, it's not a bad jersey. Maybe sponsors in orange? I think that could have helped. The Mets third, I think is a rocky pattern. Uh, it's something cool, but also something, it looks a little bit off. But uh, kudos for adding the club's colors just as a little accent. 
around the color there. Le Havre way, very simple. Yes, the Winamax in red is probably annoying me here. This would be bad in blue, but I love that there's a map of the city on the bottom. Yes, you don't make it out, but that actually adds some something. The Nisa way, similar to the blue one, uh, honestly, a little bit too blind. Yes, there's some shadow striping in there. I like that there's uh, one sleeve in red, the other one in black. Mm. But yeah, give me a little bit more. Uh, clear more foot the home shirt um again it would be rather average but there's a pattern on the on, on the bottom that's the, like the pd dome symbolizing the volcanic roots of the area think that makes it a little bit better that there's something to look at other than that yeah it's all right but i think i like it overall the little away uh is one some part of me wants to like it because you know the sound of pattern in there with the different colors it's very playful but on the other side it's a little bit too much so yeah i'm stuck in the middle with that one the breast third yes again yogurt sponsor great <laughs> the black and then the uh swords you know the pirate theme on there there's something really cool uh it's also a shirt that i like i even like that the adidas pattern is a little bit wilder it's, it has a, there's a comic strip quality to this shirt that i absolutely adore we're going to six stars uh, this home it does nothing wrong it's red and black the white collar yes milan has been using that as well uh so there's nothing wrong per se again it's almost too simple well, probably would have liked if the sleeves were striped as well uh the le havre on home i like the overall look of the le havre shirt the dark blue and the light blue half half look the winamax sponsor i probably would have preferred in white however this over the pattern yes it's probably down to uh, some architecture thing in the city because it's a modern city blah 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 <sighs> I think it distracts me too much from that. I think uh, plain. I think it would have worked quite well. Uh, the Mets fourth jer uh, jersey um, was in collaboration with an artist, and it's basically the regular Mets home shirt, and then makes it like a draft painting. I like that. There's something about it. I mean, uh, on one side, I'm wondering what's the point, and I guess they should have done it for the League 1 logo too. But the way it's done, it's something actually really cool. Uh, it looks not finished. And it's finished. Uh, the Reims away jersey. Um, there's something about it with the diagonal pinstripes going, and there's a little bit of French flag theme going. Though probably should have been done white there. Uh, something there that I really like. I think it's a really nice jer jersey. Monaco, you never can fault a default Monaco jer jersey. I prefer probably the sponsor Visit Monaco because it adds a little, little bit more. But the diagonal upper red part, uh, maybe the uh, different color sleeves that will give you trouble in Europe, of course. Uh, well, the classic league uh, looks so really cannot fall. Fall for them, the, the, the pattern in there makes it also look quite nice. Leon and Wave, many will say this is way too low. Yes, I understand. The 90s crest is outstanding on this one. The shadow stripe is outstanding. But it's just a plain Adidas shirt with an old style crest. I think to rate it higher, there should have been a little bit more. I know sometimes the crest can make a shirt. But not a club shirt necessarily so i would have expected uh, just a little a little bit more not just go blue and red i like the last third a bit better um again nice color scheme the black and gold but then with the gray and then you did know the sd intertwined s and r logo from the crest which for me is underrated i absolutely love this that uh start uh start the runs the s and the r are intertwined and it actually works quite well i think this is really really stylish modern crest uh, I like the pattern over there. Yeah, I like it. The collar is a little bit off. I mean, umbro collars this season. Yeah. Seven stars. Marseille away. Dark blue and white. You're always gonna uh, ride high with me. Uh, while I'm not a, hu a huge OM fan per se, their jerseys are usually very nice. This is one of them uh the mets home yes it's it's standard but there are dragon scales on there because the dragon uh i forgot the name of granuia something something like that is one of the symbols of the city and the region so i really like that you put the dragon pattern on on, on there uh makes it a quite nice shirt i gotta say despite all the sponsors uh the monaco third 
doesn't this doesn't this give you some Cote d'Azur vibes? You see the sea and then the white sands. Although I don't think the sands are that uh, the white, but there's something really really nice. And it also I, I I like it that you take the basic Monaco template with the Dagger Star and make it in white and uh, white and blue. I think that makes it pretty cool. Again, visit Monaco would make it better. The Toulouse third um, is relatively simple, but uh, simple. But I really like that these diamonds in there, those are actually numbers and these numbers correspond to the department numbers uh, that make up the Occitan region, so the southwest of France. Figure that, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, you have to look a little bit, but you see the, uh, under the promotion there's an 82, the next to the 32, then a 65 below. I actually like that one quite a bit. PSG home, I like the idea, I don't like the execution. Let's put it that, that, that way. I, I mean, it is a classic PSG pattern, the uh, stripe off-centered, cool. The template is still box standard, but you know, uh, these colors, PSG, it ne almost never gets you a, a bad jersey. Let's put it that way. The fade, I think, is also something, something that could have been done better. Uh, the last third, I had this much higher rated when I did my uh, Champions League jersey review. This one I had to grade. I still like the off-center stripe. I really do. But I think the sponsors are letting it down a little bit. So, yeah. But I, I still like it. I, I think it's a really nice last jersey. The L'Oreal Home goes back to, I think, uh, a jersey from the 80s. For that, I really like it. The white top with the black stripe. Uh, there's something there that I think is really, really nice and cool. It yeah. makes for an in in interior. That definitely a standout, I would say. Must say home. It's must say home. White, light blue, I wanted to have that. Maybe the sponsor could have been in light blue as well. Maybe that's the one thing uh, that could, could be better. But other than it's all clubs colors, it's all very nice. And the pattern, uh, the un underlying one is also quite pleasing. Again, gives me a little bit the, I might be wrong, either C or Cote d'Azur vibes in general. Start Reims home. It's very classic, but I really like it. And the pattern on there adds some, something. And do you see the sponsor? I'm not so annoying here. You still see the red shirt with the white sleeves most of the time. Maybe the triangle uh, the rim is the one that's a little bit off. But other than that, I think it's a really, really nice jersey. The little third, um, when I first saw it, I thought he's weird. But you see the big lily pattern uh, on there. A uh, nice sh shadow pattern. Maybe the ready orangey crest, the one in uh, that maybe makes, makes it too dark. I think a tad of white in there. But other than that, Really cool shirt. I like the colors and how they blend with, with each other and the pattern in the outstanding shirt. Really? Eight stars. Ren, the third jersey. Black and gold. Since black is one of the colors, I think there's something cool. The, the way it's done, it fits quite nicely. I really like that one also with, with the color. Maybe the pattern could have continued on the sleeves, but... Modern jerseys don't do that anymore. Ah, uh, the Toulouse away, I like the purple in purple strapping. That's pretty cool, although the, this, there's some pain associated for me with this jersey. I really like the way it, it looks very classy in a way. Maybe the color in white, also purple. Just an idea. The Ren away, there's a Breton flag there. That's why it's there. I wish that the Ermeline pattern that's below the S in the, where it's kind of cut out would be a little bit stronger. But that's cool. Maybe the crest in black and white. Yeah, we could work with that. I think this is pretty cool. Then not home, classic not. I love the color. I love that the buttons are, are there. I love that the color is in the club's colors, green and yellow, but you know, accenting it. Again, my biggest gripe with that is the red sponsor, but we have had a red sponsor on the North Jersey forever in forever. So there you go. Mets away. Again, I see a flamey pattern. That's the dragon spewing fire. I think that's cool. I also like the overall color co co combination. The slat goldeny with the dark red works really, really, really well. Just the league logo doesn't work well with this shirt, but everything else, even if there are sponsors on there, they are kind of eaten up by the fire. Last away. The more I look at this, the more I like it. And yes, the two center pinstripes are closer together than the rest. However, since they're alternating, it does not become as in your face. I think this is a really strong shirt. Yes, the white sponsors make the sponsors stick out a little bit too much. 
but then sponsors should in a way stick out but i think i really like the overall pa pattern of, of this one this is a this is a much better shirt than i initially thought the Ren home yes we have a lot of Ren jerseys i like them all i like this kind of celtic pattern in there again too many sponsors we know that but i want to focus that there's a nice color there is this nice pattern on, on, on there. I actually do like this pattern more than on the Ren jersey there that, that I have that had the mosaic pattern. And then we have the Ren special jersey uh, with Vladimir. I think he's an EDM artist, although the whole look of it looks very heavy metal to me. I mean, I'm th when I saw this one, I was think thinking about Ghost. Of course, I'm gonna like that, that one. It's black, da, da, da. it's... Uh, the pattern it is really 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 cool and then uh do you see the little heart i mean that's the artist's logo now next to the logo interestingly enough if you were lucky enough to buy this one this would you would have bought it in an oversized streetwear version which i also find kind of interesting but i think this is this is, this is a nice jer uh, nice jersey for sure the Nantes Away is a really cool one. Uh, it gives me a little bit France 1984 vibes as well. Uh, it's probably the bands here. The sponsor in green fits nicely in. The, the new crest, um, like it or not, I just think this is cool. I mean, um, yellow and white are not necessarily complementary colors, so maybe a green version of this one would look even better, at least for me. But there's something really nice. This is a very well put together shirt. Nine stars. To lose home. Purple and white stripes. I know it is simple, but it's so effective. It works really well. Works better than the away jersey. Where you see the dark purple color. I just think this works. Great jersey. The last special jersey. Uh, this is for Sir Bob's, which is of course the patron saint of the miners. Uh, there are so many little details on there, but what I like best is that the color com combination just works as well. Uh, with the, you know, the green and the dark, dark, dark green and gold, this is really, really cool. Then the crest is just the lantern for the miners on there, then there's a lot of mining symbols. It is really, really well put together. Yes, it's not necessarily the club's colors, but it fits so a really great shirt. Leon third. I was going back and forth of how high I'm rating this. I keep going back to this one. I think is an absolutely outstanding shirt. I love the many colors, but it's still a navy blue shirt. This is a shirt that I really would like to have. I love it. I love it. I was going back and forth. Should I give this nine or ten? I stuck it at nine, but it's one of my favorites for sure. As is the PSG away. Yes, the template is not great, but whenever i see psg playing in this one i cannot stop seeing that this is an absolutely beautiful shirt the white with the two colors of red and navy blue just works so well together and then the gradient across uh, the chest i don't know i'm a sucker for uh, this shirt i sh i when i look at it i should like it but i do i find I the color combination is extremely pleasing great shirt However, it's not the greatest shirt. That one is, and by now, probably all of you have been waiting for this one already. The Leon Home. What a shirt. Uh, you know, whenever you put a French flag collar, I mean, you're already, already winning. I mean, look at the Marseille shirt up there. It looks great, but you take a classic, uh, you know, this was a Leon shirt from the 2000s with the thinner stripe, and then you have the Leon crest, but then adding the gold to, to it, does something i yes. also think about uh you know this is like um inspired by old cuisine in france uh i can see this as a, uh, a is an homage to a chef's dress paul Bocuse or whatever so you know there's something really cool about this one this is an absolutely stunning shirt probably one if not the best home shirt released across all the leagues this season i want to go as far in any case these were my rankings and ratings. I want to hear your opinion on that. On to which jerseys in here did you like? Which ones did you not like? Would be really interesting to hear your opinion on that one too. Then I'll talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.